Hi, the movies recapped here. If you're new here, then subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for new videos update. Let's start with today's video. In the year 1947, the European professor of English literature Humbert Humbert, portrayed by Jeremy Irons, makes the journey to the United States in order to accept a teaching position in the state of New Hampshire. In large part, he decides to rent a room in the home of widow Charlotte Hayes, Melanie Griffith, due to the fact that he is sexually attracted to her 14-year-old daughter Dolores, Dominique Swain, who is also known as Lo. He first notices Dolores while he is touring the house. Since he was a young boy, Humbert has had an unhealthy preoccupation with young women roughly Lo's age, which he refers to as nymphettes. He is instantly smitten with Lo and marries Charlotte solely so that he can be near her daughter. Charlotte stumbles upon the hidden diary of Humbert, in which she learns that he has a crush on her daughter. As Charlotte flees the house in a rage, she is struck and killed by a passing vehicle, and her daughter, Lo, is later informed by her father about the tragedy that befell her mother. After Charlotte passed away, Humbert was finally able to pursue a romantic and sexual relationship with Lo, who he affectionately referred to as Lolita. After that, Humbert and Lo take a road trip across the country, during which they stay in a number of different motels. Eventually, they decide to make their home in the college town of Beardsley, where Humbert finds a teaching job and Lo enrolls in Beardsley Prep School, a Catholic all-girls institution. It is imperative that Humbert keep the specifics of his relationship with Lolita a secret from everyone, including complete strangers they may meet on their travels as well as the higher-ups at Beardsley. To the outside world, he portrays the relationship he has with Lo as that of a father and daughter. A conflict arises between Lo and Humbert as a result of the ongoing tension between them, which is fueled by Lo's growing desire for independence as well as the realization of the nature of their relationship. Over time, Lo's relationship with Humbert becomes increasingly monotonous for her. Playwright Claire Quilty, played by Frank Langella, has been after Lo from the beginning of the two people's journeys together, which pits Humbert's feelings for Lo against those of another man a man named Claire Quilty. In the end, Lo and Quilty are successful in evading Humbert's pursuit, which is particularly frustrating given that Humbert is unaware of Quilty's given name. After another three years have passed, Lo sends Humbert a letter asking for financial assistance. Humbert pays a visit to Lo, who is now happily married and expecting their first child. Richard, her husband, is completely ignorant regarding her history. She rejects Humbert's request to run away with him and join him in his escape. He gives her a sizable amount of money after finally giving in to her demands. In addition, Lo explains to Humbert that Quilty actively sought out young women and brought them to Paver Manor, which was his residence in Parkington, in order to exploit them for child pornography. After she turned down Quilty's offer to appear in one of his movies, he abandoned her. After his meeting with Lo, Humbert goes looking for Quilty and eventually ends up killing him. Humbert is apprehended by the authorities after they pursue him and is subsequently sentenced to time served. He passed away in jail in November of 1950 from a coronary thrombosis and Lo passed away on Christmas Day in December of the following year from complications related to childbirth. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Also share with your friends. Thank you. Love you. Bye-bye. See you in next video.